The 2015 FRC challenge is called Recycle Rush. The robot's job is to stack totes, recycling bins, and throw away litter. The game is played by two teams, each of three robots. They must work together to stack bins higher, throw away more litter, and score more points. These are the amazing women behind them. What team do you represent? So we're from the Girls of Steel, uh, FRC 3504. Team 1868, the Space Peace. I am from Team 1700. I'm also wearing my Gator Botics shirt, which is the team that I represent. Oh. Girls of Steel. Yeah, we, we, um, I wore my, the t-shirt one, and she wore our plaid. Please briefly describe your team. So we're an all-girls FRC team based out of Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are an all-girls team, and we are... 40-ish girls strong. We're an all-girls team founded by NASA and Girl Scouts. Can you describe the robot you built for Recycle Rush? So our robot for Recycle Rush was named Sierra. Last year's robot, we called her Ada after Ada Lovelace. So our robot for Recycle Rush is Paul Tulavu. What's it like being an all-girls team in a male-dominated field? We definitely get some questions about the legitimacy of our team. Uh, I've had people tell me that we didn't actually build our robot and that we had boys build it for us. It's frustrating. I was on drive team two years ago, which meant that I spent a lot of times interact I spent a lot of time interacting with the other teams that were mostly male dominated and trying to figure out strategy and working with them. And it was often very frustrating because you know, it's just, it's microaggressions. Like, you see it all the time. Like, they would talk over us, not listen to our strategies, even though we were probably 30 teams ahead of them in ranking. And it was kind of just frustrating to deal with in general, especially when we were on the field and their coaches could yell louder than us and they were bigger than us and they kind of got really excited and would jump around in our space and it, it's just, I mean, not all of them were like that. It just kind of bothers me when I see a bunch of pictures, not formal pictures released by first, but just like robotics pictures in general, and they're all guys, and you see like one or two girls maybe, and it's so hard to find them. How have you felt discrimination as an all-girls FRC team? There have been some comments here and there where it's like, oh, they're all girls? So I think Definitely, we get treated differently by other teams. And like Sam said, it's not necessarily outright discrimination, but it's the subtle things, you know. Um, like, I've gone over to other teams asking them for help um, or if they wanted to be helped. Uh, and they've outright told me no. And then I walk as I'm walking away, I see another person from a completely other random team walk over and say, hey, do you need help? And they're like, yeah, sure, we can use your help. Like, what's your name? They do this all the, um, time. Do all the time. It makes me so mad. And, you know, the first couple times you're like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe they have talked to them beforehand. But after the first couple times you start noticing it and you're, it's kind of like the little things that irritate. Yeah. Um, mostly things like that where people don't take us as seriously. How have you fought against this discrimination? Just doing as well as we can and knowing that we brought our best to the table and that even if... Other people don't appreciate it. We still did our best. So we make a point to stay positive, definitely. You know, in, I guess in the face of adversity, we <laughs> stay positive. And another thing is when you go to competitions, there's this pride that you carry, like, hey, we're all girls. And people notice, they're like, oh, that robot was built by all girls. And it's, it's not like taboo, it's just kind of cool. It's cool to be different. Can a girl do anything a guy can do? Absolutely. Yes, and more. Yeah, you can do anything you set your mind to, so... If you, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, I love it. <laughs> I just wanted okay. to give you a hug because you're going to be amazing in your leadership Thank role. Thank you so much.